New people should sit by the doors. Don't look so upset. Go to your seat. Quick. Ha ha ha. Oh, why are you sitting all the way over here? Director, over here. What? What did you just? I'm Kazuya Okita, 29. I work at Tsukamoto Holdings, specifically in app development. Mr. Okita, please can you take a look at this? Okay. This company mainly provides services where people can connect online. In recent years, we've been seeing a lot of growth thanks to more and more people owning smartphones. Thank you. I'll try it out. Thanks. I'm feeling good since everyone's doing their best work. Um, I just wanted to ask, but are you really going to transfer to the main office? Yeah. Today is my last day working at the Sakura Machi branch. It's goodbye to everyone here. From tomorrow, I'll be working at the main office. But then, the main office hosted a welcome party for me. So I went, but there was a lot of people there. Wow, this is a lot, but I guess this is the main office. For me, who had been at a local branch all this time, it was nerve wracking to work in such a crowded environment. Hello! Oh, oh hello! Am I going to be okay? In any case, I'll take a seat. Um, is this my seat though? Hey, you! Hey! Are you listening? What? Me? <laughs> who is he? You! Do you not see whose seat you're sitting on? Whose seat? Um? Um, hello, I just transferred from Sakura Machi Branch. <sighs> Seems like you don't have a clue about anything. So, I'll let you know. But only important people sit toward the back, and everyone else sit by the doors. Hmm? You look like you just heard about it. It's common sense. You should know. Or you'll embarrass yourself once you become manager, like me. <laughs> um. Ah, this is so much trouble. New people should sit by the doors. Don't look so upset. Go to your seat, quick. Ha ha ha. This one is my seat. <laughs> nah. You're young, but you're not so young to not have any experience. Company hierarchy is important, you know, even at a party like this. I get secondhand embarrassment just by watching someone like you. Wow, it's been a long time since I met someone who keeps going on about common sense and such. So he's my manager. R right, that's right. <sighs> I don't want any drama in this new office and I don't want to be bothered. So I moved my seat right away, but this is looking bad. It's only my second day at the main office. So I don't have a lot of people I can talk to. <sighs> I don't even know anyone's names, so it's not like I can go chat to people. But then. Huh? Oh, it's you, Okita! I didn't know you transferred here! N Nishiguchi? Why are you here? I've actually been here since last year. I'm in sales. Really? I didn't know. This guy is called Reiji Nishiguchi. He and I started working for this company together, and we were close during orientation. I thought he was in some local branch. I'm shocked to see him here. Mr. Okita? Miss Seki, hi. This lady is Maiko Seki. She's been working here since a few years ago. A secretary who's really good at her job. Oh, why are you sitting all the way over here? Miss Seki, um, that's because... I'm worried for you if you're acting so unsure already. Oh, Mr. Mikawa, I don't think your seat is over there, so please move. Why should I move? I'm sitting exactly where I'm supposed to be. That's the farthest seat. So it's for the director, which is Mr. Okita. Director! Over here! What? What did you just... I just called Mr. Okita director. Should I say it again? H he's the director? I know I don't look like one. I'm sorry. Oh, Miss Seki? Yes? Earlier, Mr. Mikawa told me I should sit here instead. But what should I do? Oh... 
Is that so? Mr. Mikawa, what were you intending? I'd like to know. Oh, um, calm down. I never heard anything about the director coming today. Did you look over the guest list that was handed out the other day? Of course I did. Why would you think I would miss something like that? <laughs> okay then. I guess some people just can't admit to ever making a mistake. But look here. I can look at this many times. It's still going to be the same. No, look here. It's a list of people who just transferred. See Mr. Okita's name here? Ah! Please admit to your mistake. Wow. It seems like Mr. Mikawa really hates having his failure pointed out. But he's really mad. <sighs> I'm busy, all right? And if the director was coming, shouldn't you or someone else have told me? <laughs> I've got talent and I'm juggling a lot of work. So of course I would slip up on a list of transfers sometimes. But wow, he's making complete excuses. I think you should have just introduced yourself as a director. Or do you just not have enough confidence to be a director? Maybe I should take over instead. I think I'd be a lot more capable than you. Mr. Mikawa has no intention of ever admitting his own mistake. He spells a lot of trouble. That's entirely too rude of you. Please stop. Miss Seki, it's okay. Calm down. No, he is being way too rude to our director. As secretary, I cannot leave this alone. Hey, hey, we're in the middle of a welcome party. Everyone's having a fun time. It's not right to spoil the mood. Fine. I'll leave Mr. Mikawa be for the time being. The next day, I know my introduction comes a bit late, but I'm the new director, Kazuya Okita. Huff, what arrogance. I'm going to be head of sales, so I'm counting on you all for your support. Huff. I see Mr. Mikawa hasn't changed a bit since yesterday. Hey! Y yes? Are you not done with the documents yet? It seemed like Mr. Mikawa was impatient about something. Hey, you over there! Yes? About that thing! Hey, you! The thing I got you to do yesterday! Oh, um... I wonder if Mr. Mikawa has anything on his plate. He seems to be calling out a lot of people. But is he doing anything on his own? The reason I was worried about Mr. Mikawa was not only because of his attitude he showed at the welcome party. The real reason I was called to join the main office was to look into the low productivity of the sales department. And then, two years ago now, Mr. Mikawa became our manager. It might just be coincidence, but it was about the time when we started seeing low productivity. Hmm... I heard that the sales department started performing poorly from two years ago, but could this be Mr. Mikawa's doing? Maybe I should ask him about it directly. So, what do you want from me? I mentioned to you before, too, but the sales department hasn't been doing well. Ever since you became its manager. Ha! What a coincidence! Is it really? What are you saying? I've heard that you were promoted to manager because your hard work stood out. Wow, nice. You know a lot. <laughs> I'm thinking that if you start working just like you had before, our sales might improve again. Ha! I agree. So I have a request. What? what I want you to put your great capabilities to use and rethink how we want our sales department to be. But if you keep going like this, we will have to follow company procedure and your position will be vulnerable. What? That's... That just can't happen. You can read up on company procedures later on, where it talks about different positions and their standards. I think this is your big chance, Mr. Mikawa. I see. So please take this opportunity to reflect. Isn't that unnecessary? By which you mean... So you're saying that we just need to increase our profit? It's true that what he's saying is the ultimate goal, but it sounds off to me. We only need a month to increase our sales. Huh? I'll do it on my own. You'll see. <laughs> Mr. Mikawa is going to improve sales in one month, 
all alone? What? Do you have something to say? <laughs> no, well, then please. I was curious about how he was going to do such a thing, but I decided to wait it out. A month later... Look here! Mr. Okita! This wonderful result! Mm. See? I did this all alone! Mr. Mikawa really did make our sales go up in just a month. But how in the world did he do it? Mr. Mikawa, what did you do? What do you mean? I just put my experiences to good use. <laughs> I'm just a talented manager. <laughs> I want you to tell me precisely. <laughs> it's a secret. Why don't you think a little about it, Mr. Okita? Why is he being so secretive? It's true that he improved our sales, but... I'm going to look into it. How could Mr. Mikawa do that all of a sudden? Yeah, I'm curious why he won't tell any of us how he did it. Nishiguchi? Mr. Okita, how are you? Don't act so polite. What happened? You look pale. To tell you the truth, Mr. Mikawa told us a month ago that we had to better our sales. And since then, the workload is too much to handle. I'm reaching my limit every day. I see. Okay, thank you. I need to investigate this properly. Okay, Miss Seki, I want you to look into the data. On our main project right now, the dating app. Got it. I got Miss Seki to gather some data. On our dating app, Love Love, as I decided to follow Mr. Mikawa's tracks. In our company, everyone is required to record their whereabouts so that we are able to keep track of where everyone is. Ever since the day I asked Mr. Mikawa to improve our sales, he hasn't been in the office almost at all. Where has he been? Even though it was the sales department, Mr. Mikawa had almost never set foot outside of the office since he became manager. That was all until a month ago, when he suddenly started to head out a lot. This was very strange. Mr. Okita, please look at this. What's up? This data right here. Miss Seki showed me the stats on Love Love, and I found that just in the last month, the number of male users had grown to triple the average number of monthly users. What does this mean? It's so strange. It's not like we started any new projects or spent money on any particular advertisement. M Mr. Okita, we're in trouble. Look at this. Miss Seki pointed to the screen which showed users' reviews of Love Love. They said they had celebrities registered on Love Love, but I'm not seeing any. I get replies from them, but I can't actually meet up with them. There's no celebrities on here. Wait a minute. I haven't heard of any celebrities being registered on here. This might cause a privacy problem. It's really bad. Who spread this rumor? I honestly have no idea if there are any celebrities registered as our users. Regardless of whether that's true, I need to find the root person of this rumor right away. What should we do, Mr. Okita? This is going to get even bigger unless we do something about it. It's okay. I'm going to contact these people who left these reviews. Thank you. Thanks. Oh, um, Miss Seki? Yes, what is it? Why not get dinner with me sometime once all this settles down? What? You and me? Sorry, it's okay if you can't. I don't want to force you. No, I would love to. What? Really? Yes. On one condition. Condition? Please, let's not talk about work when we're sharing a meal. Sounds good. I promise. I'll be looking forward to it. So let's get this sorted out. All right, I'm going to tackle this right away. A few days later. Did you figure anything out? So, I reached out to the people who were leaving those reviews. And Mr. Mikawa's name popped up. I knew it. Apparently, Mr. Mikawa was gathering people who wanted to use social media to find their partners and made them register on Love Love. That's why he was out of office all the time. That's right. Let's go to Mr. Mikawa then. Wait a minute, okay? There's something I need to do first. 
Oh, really? Okay. Mr. Okita, what's up? I'm kind of busy right now. Then I'll be quick. Mr. Mikawa, you were spreading misinformation on social media to our target audience and making them register themselves on Love Love, if I'm not wrong. Huh? What's this about? <laughs> Mr. Mikawa, we already know that you were faking DMs to send two men in their 20s all the way to their 60s. Faking? What was I faking? Now, look at this. This person is claiming that they heard there were celebrities on Love Love who are looking for romance, which is what made them register. Hmph. <sighs> but, but, Mr. Okita, I was only introducing our app to our clients and contributed to our sales, wasn't I? <laughs> but if the sales haven't gone up even now, it might be my fault. <laughs> well then, let me ask you. Where did the information about celebrities on our platform come from? Oh, that, that was from the pr profiles. You're talking about the profiles of our users, yes? Is it the data that flows into our company when the users register themselves? C kind of. So you're saying that you had been misusing sensitive information and breaking its security. Th that's not what I wanted to do. It's only that I needed to do it to improve our sales. Can you really say that this was necessary at all? All this means is that you lost the trust that everyone had for our company. Th that's not my fault. Honestly, aren't the people who are so honest about their celebrity identity on the platform the real problem here? The actual problem is the person who has been leaking sensitive data that only our company employees are permitted to see. That is, you are the problem. What? I was only doing my best to make sure our sales were back on track. Why should I get told off for that? Doing your best has nothing to do with leaking information illegally. Exactly right. The end doesn't justify the means. Just because you say you did your best, you broke the law and you broke company policy. No way. This can't be. I'm sorry to say, but Miss Seki is right. We cannot let you stay in our company. Ugh. Mr. Mikawa then broke down crying on the spot. By the way, before we came to talk to you, we posted an official apology on our website and distributed free points that could be used for messaging. If we had sold those points as usual, they would have made us a profit of at least 500,000 yen. Hmm. As for that, we will require you to pay as compensation for your wrongdoing. So please await an official invoice from us. What? Please reflect truly on what you've done. Not long after, Mr. Mikawa was officially fired from the company due to infringement of our policy. That's all the reporting from me. Okay, thank you. Um, by the way, apparently Mr. Mikawa is struggling to find a new job. And he's hitting the bottom of his savings. And people always said he was a little careless with money. Huh. He brought it upon himself, didn't he? That's right. I kind of foresaw this. Alright, let's keep up our hard work then. Oh, um... Hmm? Um, are you free tonight? Before you invited me out for dinner? What about tonight? Uh, of course! I didn't actually imagine I would be able to go out with her. So I'd forgotten all about it. I'm gonna do my very best today then! Me too! I'm excited for it! I can have my hopes up for this one, right? Anyone who believes that the ends always justifies the means when it comes to their profit will always end up regretting their decisions. Thank you for watching! How did you like this episode? Please watch out for the next one too! Alright then, bye bye!